Hi, I'm Jaap van Ette. I am one of the people that together with Gary Palish and Jeannie Michaels founded, and now comes a very difficult name, the Universal Center for Metaphysical Ecology. And you may say, wow, that's a heavy name. Well, I'd like to explain to you why we have chosen that name, and then you may understand why we say this is the appropriate name for our nonprofit organization. Now, you see the red rocks behind you. This is the Sedona area, and this is where we started with the idea of metaphysical ecology. It started all here. That's why it's so nice to talk to you from this particular place. We did all the research that is the foundation and basis for this particular center in this area. This area has given us so many gifts and so many insights that we now can present those ideas and those, that information that we gathered right now to you. When we talk about metaphysical ecology, I think the best way is to start with what are the key things that we are focusing on. It is a platform that actually wants to help you with a number of different things. And we are now getting very, very strong wind, which <laughs> makes it very vivid to listen to us, right? So there were three major things that we were focusing on. We were first focusing on we are human beings and we mentioned from our perspective very clearly we are spiritual beings having a human experience. That means that we don't have to become spiritual as many people think. No, we have to make sure that that human aspect of us is functioning in such a way that we can allow that spiritual essence of us to come through. So we in UCME, as we abbreviate the name, we like to help people to create a physical system that will allow the spiritual essence. And this is very important because we are here in this beautiful planet and that in one way or another we have, let's say, messed up a little bit. And the reason is we are disconnected. We, with our physical system, think we are separate from everything around us. But realize that what you see around us right now, those rocks and the different plants and animals that live in this area, they all use Mother Earth as the basis of every atom that they need to get from. You get it from the Mother. That makes us already an integrated part of the Mother like every other living being on this planet, because we all use from the same source. That means we are related, whether we like it or not. Quantum physics is nowadays even explaining, they call it quantum entanglement. We are all entangled. So it's important for us to begin to understand the world that we live in, but not only from a physical perspective. This area is known for its vortexes. Well, vortexes exist everywhere in the world. There is so much energy everywhere in the world and we have forgotten how to connect with that. The ancient people knew that exactly. They have all their sacred places are where they built. Because that is the place where you get the energies from the mother that you need in order to function in the most optimal way. And that is what we no longer do. And we need to remember again what it means to live in harmony. So in harmony, not only with the physical, but also with the invisible worlds. The energies around us are invisible and even not measurable. So we need to learn to work with that. And then we go back to the first part. We need to develop in such a way that we can work with that. That's why we call it metaphysical. It goes beyond the physical. It is not only about the physical, it is about all that exists in this particular beautiful planet. And it is very important that we begin to make that connection because we came here with a purpose. And what is our purpose? We can endlessly discuss about that. And we can also make it very simple. I like to make it simple. We came here to express who we are in order to help this system to expand, to grow, to raise in vibration, to become in potential what it is supposed to be. A place with joy to live in, where we live in love and respect for each other, independent of what kind of species or being we are. 
And if we really want to do that, we need to learn to understand this world and we need to learn to understand ourselves. So that's why in summary we have three main goals. Develop ourselves so that we connect or you can say reconnect with our essence and number two to reconnect with the world around us both on the visible and invisible level and in the third place that we can grow all together into a new world there were four worlds before us actually we are the end of the fourth world and the fourth world is connected to the element of earth the material stuff and look we got completely caught into materialism we need to let go of that and to move into this new world through the ways that I just described in such a way that we live again in joy, harmony and in unconditional love and respect. That is where we are standing for. That's where we try to bring people together in this platform, in this center that can help not only for per to in personal development but also in understanding more the invisible worlds of this world so that we truly can work on metaphysical ecology. That is our passion, that is where we work for. And I hope that you can feel some of that passion and say, wow, I'd like to join it in one way or another. Thank you for listening.